So in this video, we're going to be talking about natal Aquarius sun in the eighth house and what this placement means. So if you have this placement, you are in the right place. And with that being said, when you have Aquarius sun in this in the in the eighth house, this indicates that you would tend to be more of a low key or behind the scenes person, because when the sun is in Aquarius, it's in the opposite sign from Leo, which is uh, its natural sign. And Leo is about receiving attention or validation or recognition. Um, whereas Aquarius is more about being a, part a participant or somebody that identifies more with the group that they're a part of. And their ego revolves around the group. Because Aquarius is about groups of people. And the group can be many different things. It can be your work group. It could be your peers at school. But it's all the things that you are a part of. So a lot of times Aquarius, they make great group members or society members or um, like volunteers even. They're very helpful. Um, but um, in this case, you also have the uh, sun in the eighth house. And the eighth house is about secrecy or privacy a lot of times. So it really indicates that you are a behind the scenes kind of volunteer or person or uh it, or individual or worker and you really identify with the needs of the group because the eighth house is about needs or desires and Aquarius can be about your friends or it could be just about society. So in general these individuals that have the sun here they get their sense of ego from fulfilling the needs of uh, the groups that they're a part of, especially their friends. So a lot of times your friends can be dependent on you if you have this placement or you just um, understand the psychology of the group and you really are the glue behind your friendships or your friend groups. Um, a lot of times uh, these individuals they're like the backbone of the groups that they are a part of. Um, because the eighth house, which is associated with Scorpio, it really holds things together. It's really about um, bonds. And so um, these people will constantly be caring about society or their friends or their network. And you guys really hold it together. Um, in addition, like I was saying, you guys understand social psychology and your self-esteem will tend to come from how others, uh, value you or how you perceive others, um, value you, you as a contribution. Another thing about this placement is that, um, when the sun is in Aquarius in the eighth house, this means that Leo is either the ruler of the second house or it's somewhere in the second house. But if Leo rules your second house, especially, um, this means that the sun is the ruler of your self-esteem because the second house is about self-esteem. And so when you have the sun here in the eighth house, which is the opposite um, of the second house, this can typically indicate a lower sense of self-esteem or just a self-esteem that comes from how you think others value you rather than something that you have um, within yourself. So a lot of times people with displacement, they never seek the recognition that they sometimes deserve. Um, and that's why they play such a like behind the scenes role is that they really identify with what uh, the group needs rather than their own sense of self-worth or uh, ego. So um, with that being said, that basically covers what I wanted to cover for this placement. Um, so if it resonated and you saw yourself in any way in this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content. And other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting this channel in any way that you do. And I'll see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.
So when Aquarius is in the eighth house, another thing about this is that the natural sign in the ascendant is cancer. So there's an element of care to these individuals uh, that have the, the sun in the eighth house um, in Aquarius. They really tend to care about others or especially their friends. And a lot of times their actions, which is indicated by the sun, are in alignment to the needs or the desires of other people, especially the groups that they're a part of, you know, even the professional groups that they are a part of. Um, and the sign cancer is about being a resource or having resource uh, resources or being stable. So they act like a form of stability for others. And, you know, people see you as a caring person or a helpful person. Um, or as a resource that they can depend on. And finally, cancer is about privacy. So if I had to sum this placement up in one sentence, it, it really indicates somebody that is more of a behind the scenes, um, low key, secretive person, and um, they care about their privacy and their ego or their proud uh, or their pride revolves around um their personal lives and the connections that they have to others. That's the things that gives them the strongest sense of ego because the natural ascendant um, for this placement is cancer. Even if you're not a cancer, your son has a natural first um, connection to the sign cancer. So that's something else about this placement I wanted to add as well.